Good morning, San Francisco. Oh, Happy like free comic book thunder. day. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not taking a picture. Yeah. <laughs> this Yay. is like that thing they did to the hipsters. We're like, we're going to take your picture and then watch them pose. For <laughs> anyway, we're off to yeah. Amazing Fantasy on 8th and Irving for the first stop of the day. <laughs> Amazing Fantasy! The name of the store is Amazing Fantasy, and I'm Frank McGinn. Look, comic books, props, trade paperbacks, toys. It's been here since 78. It's comics and comics and Amazing Fantasy since uh, 2000. This is an auspicious sign. All right, first door, first stop down on free comic book day. What did everybody get? The Avatar with itty bitty Hellboy. <laughs> Boobar, Ace of Spades, Atomic Robots. Oh, and Ugly Doll Comics. And um, I got the new Avatar The Last Airbender series, The Rift, because buying things at your local comic book store during free comic book day is very important. And then I got the Power Rangers comic and the first issue of Rocket Raccoon. Hi, we're here with Liz at Two Cats Comics. Hi, how you uh, uh, Well, we've been around in West Portal for the past two-ish years, since about last few Novembers ago. Um, and we sell graphic novels and comic books to whoever wants them, whoever likes to read them. Um, it is a, <laughs> it's a like, long-sought dream of, um, oh, okay. of a few managers who had, used to have a store in the Metreon. Um, called Things oh, from Another World. Yeah. If you Love that, that place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. Now I'm sad. <laughs> um, so, what do you think about Free Comic Book Day? Um, it's neat. It's great that people can come in and grab any comics that they, they want or miss, or, you know, they're looking forward to things and they don't have to worry about having to go to the fourth of It's nice that people are able to get them and even hear about more comic books here. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. So we're here with Daryl Dazzo. Hey, Daryl, Mike, nice to meet Darryl. you. Daryl, Daryl, sorry. Um, and uh, we're at Geary Cards and Comics. Cards and Comics Central. Yeah. Cards and Comics Central. Sorry. You want to tell us a little bit about the store? The area. Uh, the person who owns it has been over here for over 20 years. Wow. Has probably the most variety as far as comics, toys, collectibles, card games, uh, Japanese imports, tons of great stuff from you know small pieces to big pieces. Oh, Free Comic Book Day, it's, it's, uh, it's great. I mean, it's been going for a couple years now, and I think the biggest uh, takeaway from it is bringing in new readers. Free Comic Book Day does more than just that. It also introduces to a lot of people to different books, uh, different things, new cultures, uh, new superheroes. I did manage to pick up a uh, Free Comic Book Guardians of the Galaxy and Grim Fairy Tales that looked kind of interesting. I thought it was swords. And I bought a Word of Prey for my desk at work. Welcome to Comics Experience! Yes! Yeah. What? What? We ran into a random Brian Patterson on the street! So I'm Brian Hibbs, Comics Experience and Comics Experience Outpost. We have two stores here in San Francisco. Well, Comics Experience is, um, is the best comic shop in San Francisco, if you ask me. Um, of course, I would say that, wouldn't I? Um, but we're certainly uh, a graphic novel focused. Um, you know, we're, we're strong on books. Um, I absolutely think we have the best selection of books in, in San Francisco. And what, how do you guys feel about Free Comic Book Day? It's the greatest day of the year. <laughs> no, I mean seriously, it's the happiest, happiest day of the year. You know what I really like? I really like when kids come and then they, the kids get the comics and their eyes light up and they're all, I can have these, that's exciting. You know, and adults don't really need free comics, but, but the kids. <laughs> Uh, Isotope is a comic book lounge, gallery, lots of places to hang out and chill out. Uh, sure. I try to make all of my events different because um, I get bored really easily. So I want everything to be different. Um, my only rule for Free Comic Book Day is that uh, creators who come in, the featured creator, has to be under 12. Welcome to the Isotope, happy Free Comic Book Day. I'm James Syme, the owner, and this is my other superstar, the real superstar, the featured superstar of Free Comic Book Day at the Isotope, Aiden Hernacki, 11 years old, two issues of his Onion Brothers comic out. Well, there is two onions, and 
One the is brothers. Very dumb, one no, is very dumb. smart, <laughs> and they go on these crazy adventures. So, if you I can't make it. it down to Free Comic Book Day at Isotope right now, where can you obtain the Onion Brothers? You can buy it at, at the Isotope. Okay. Facebook.com uh, slash Onion Bros. Uh, well, my name is J.H. Williams III, and I've been working in the comics industry for more than 20 years. And my current project is Sandman, Neil Demon. Being a dream project. So, uh, no pun intended, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. So, how did you end up being the shop boy today at Isotope? Well, I've known James for quite a few years now, and he. Uh, he got this idea to, um, I guess he was out shopping for records on Record Store Day and he saw that some of the shops actually had surprise musicians in, acting as if they were there to help yeah. the employees yeah. and he's like, he called me up he's like, hey I got this idea, do you want to do it? It's and I'm like, idea. yeah sure, why not? He's like, we won't tell anyone, we won't tell anyone that you're going to be here and they can, it'll just be a surprise. Alright, so that was our last stop. <laughs> that yes. was a, quite a surprise of yes. a stop there. Aiden Hernaki, who wrote the Onion Bros. <laughs> I think you pronounced the whole word brothers. Brothers? I mean, oh, okay. It's well, not the Super Facebook Mario Bros. Is what is Onion Bros. Written? Onion Bros. The Facebook is uh, Onion Bros. Uh, you, Melang and Jarvis, I didn't buy anything, but I decided to pick up the first uh, Hellblazer collection, so I've never read that. And the first issue of the new Amazing Spider-Man with Peter finally back in his body and Otto Octavius out of there. Good. Um, and yeah, that was yeah. really cool. It was. Iso yeah, he does. And Isotope is a really, really cool lounge. And that was a really fun day. I'm glad we got yeah, to do that. Me too. Thank you guys for coming out with me. Of course. Um, now we are off to go see the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Which you will see in a, in a review of it. Well, here, a review of it next week's podcast. So Yay! enjoy. Bye. Woo! Happy Free Comic Book Day, everybody.